Hello. So we are back here, yeah? Monday. And I have a lot of jobs. I got one week off. And uh, now I'm back. So let's start doing some jobs. Because it's, it's, it's like that, you know, there's so many jobs here. Let's start with this one. This is a Asus X541U. And the problem with this one, like it's no power, no charging, nothing. Let's plug the charger. It's saying on the receipt, left to charger. Well, let's see if we can fix it quickly or not. So that's the key word for today, yeah, to be quick. Because if I'm not quick, probably have to come even tomorrow. Even this week I have op off the uh, Easter holidays, but I come today just because there are too many jobs here, yeah? So plug the charger, and we do have charging light and power on, and it's coming on. Okay. That's crazy, you've seen the receipt. <laughs> Okay, give me one second. Hey, Manuel. Summer job. <laughs> okay, that's my colleagues, yeah? Like this laptop was booked in, no power, and the laptop was left with charger. So I suppose this, uh, you know, in the Easter time, the mi miracle can happen, like the Phoenix comes alive, <laughs> like this laptop. <laughs> I suppose this is a miracle. This time is no Christmas magic, it's Easter magic. So it looks like this laptop is working and actually it's charging, so we don't have like a charging port or... Let's see if the windows is coming on. Don't worry, don't be disappointed, I will start, the, I will start another job. Yeah, it is starting. Okay. So the laptop is working fine. I will shut down the laptop. Because obviously it's nothing what we can do here. We will not charge the customer because the laptop is working. Just wait for the laptop to shut down. I don't believe in miracles, so probably the BIOS, uh, the Super I chip was frozen and just a coincidence just comes now to life. Probably that's what happened. Okay, it's off. In one second.
Oh, sorry, the microphone was off. Give me one second, please. Now, you know what happened on the holiday? So Friday was my last day, and Saturday I started having like a flu, like temperature, like coughing. That's what happened on my holiday, so five days I was like, just wasting my holiday. Okay, good. Let's go on a on different one. There's nothing wrong with this one. Next one, let's see. What about a dead Lenovo? Yeah, okay. So what do we have here? We have a Lenovo laptop was booked in with a charging port. But really is the charging port? The charging port looks great, so I don't believe this was booked in, uh, you know. Let me grab a charger. Okay, charger is plugged in and we have no uh, charging light and no power, no power on light, nothing, it's just dead. So let's open this one and check quickly. Okay, it's no hard drive here. That's interesting. Why is no hard drive? We have the charging connector here, so we can check the charging port. Charger is plugged. Let's check the, the voltage. We have the multimeter on screen. Plus, minus, and we have 20 volts. That means the charging port is fine. Okay. Have a small fuse here. Let's see about that fuse. Ground, ground, yeah. And voltage after the fuse, 20 volts. So it's not a fuse. Okay? What we can see, I think we can see the first MOSFET from here. Let me pour on the 
microscope. Let's try, you know, just to check a few things before I open the laptop. So you can see, yeah, you can see from here the input of, of most of the laptops, yeah, that's the input. So we have the charging port, plus, yeah, from plus, the voltage, the 19 volts uh, to 20 volts is coming through the fuse, fuse, the carbon resistors, we have the first MOSFET here, yeah, and from the first MOSFET is going to the second MOSFET, the output of the second MOSFET, we have the current sensor here, I can't see, sorry, here, this, so on that current sensor I should have 19 if, if my MOSFETs, are driving the power. So let's see, minus, plus, and we have zero. And we have zero, okay. So my first MOSFET is this one, and I have 20.5 volts. From the output of this MOSFET here, I have 19.9 volts, so that's mean on the input of this one, we have 19.9, .9, yeah? And on the output of this one, we have nothing, zero. Yeah? The zero volts. So, you know what I will do? I'll try to fix this. Obviously, the key, the key is quickly. Quick job, less money for the customer. And actually, it's better for you. Okay? So what I will do, I will come with the power supply, let's set up the power supply, 20 volts, 19, yeah, current, around 2 amps, <coughs> give me one second. No, I'm not good yet, I'm not good yet. Okay. 19 volts to amps, ground, <coughs> this is ground, yeah, <coughs> and plus before the MOSFET, yeah, so we have no current, and after the MOSFET, okay, okay, that's unexpected, that's not supposed to happen, So look, a lot of smoke and something goes on fire. <sighs> so that's a great start fixing a laptop. So actually you know, something goes on fire. So now I understand. Now you understand why that MOSFET is there. Just think, yeah, if that MOSFET is, is not there, you'll have a fire. Okay. Let's open this. Uh, let's see what go from what the smoke comes. <laughs> but based on the smell, it's a semiconductor. A chip? Can be a chip. This is kind of awkward, you know, we are not here to broke the things more, we are here to fix them. And I done nothing wrong, on that power rail should be 19, 20 volts, should be 20 volts, exactly what I did, I come with 20 volts and a lot of start smoking. So obviously the laptop was booked in for, for the wrong price. 
This is a motherboard issue, not a charging port issue. Everything is smelling here like, you know, the burn thing. So we'll try one more time to come with voltage on that uh, power rail, then we'll see. Hopefully the ch the the chips the super I/O is not dead because if the super I/O is dead, we have a big problem, big one. I think on this one the back is coming out. The back or the front? I don't remember. Okay, the front. Let's take out the keyboard. Keyboard is out, touchpad is out, power, power on button is out. Good. Now don't tell me the super air chip is bad. No, probably it's not. That's good. That's good. So let's take out the motherboard because uh, the damage I think is on the other side. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can see the damage, let's check together, so this thing, yeah, this is the power supply from the, it's charging the battery, yeah, plus, it's coming here, yeah, so this is the power supply which is charging the battery, yeah, so that thing blow up. What I will do, what I will, you can see the damage, let me switch. Okay, so that's what happened, that's what, what was, was more key. We have the driver, we have the two MOSFETs, coil, and from the coil it's coming here, it's going here, 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 and on the other side the truck is coming here to the plus of the battery, yeah? So what I will do, I'll remove that chip, because the laptop can work without the charging, and I will check the board to see if it's working, to see if it's worth to carry out this repair, you know? If I fix the battery charging and the laptop actually is not uh, turning on, yeah, that will be a problem.
Okay, so that the smoke and the spark was from this MOSFET. Oh, and yeah, this wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, I will try now exactly same thing, coming with 19 volts exactly on same point after the second MOSFET. And it's not short anymore. Now what I want to check, I want to check if the laptop is working. Because it should be working. <coughs> yeah, it will not charge, but should be working. Okay, let's plug the <coughs> the charger. <coughs> Power on. Mm -hmm. Let's check some voltages here. We have three point three on the power button. No, that's interesting. 19, after the second MOSFET, we have? No, we still don't have. 19, and after the second MOSFET, we have nothing. Okay, that's not good. That's not good. Because I can't check. If the 19 volts is not passing the second MOSFET, will be no 3.3. And if it's no 3.3, the laptop will not start. And also will be no, no 19, so my 19 volts power rail is not present. <coughs> <coughs> so all what I want, I want to push the things further, even if that MOSFET is not uh, <coughs> is not uh, driving the power. And I want to see if the board is working before checking why. Yeah. So this is not driving the power. So all what I will do <coughs> Let's try a trick, yeah? Yeah, my solar iron is not hot. Come on. There and here and in the wire. Okay, let me find the wire. You know what how is when you come back from holiday you can't find nothing. So all your tools are gone. Are no tools here anymore? No wires, nothing. <coughs> okay, 
Okay, let's see this one. Okay, they found the wire. So let's just bridge that MOSFET and uh, drive the 19 volts on the board and see what will happen. Yeah? Because again, again, my uh, my purpose is not to fix the board right now, it's to find out if all the faults, all, all these board faults, yeah? To see exactly, we have more faults or only that's the problem. <clears throat> okay. It's not fun to fix something and after that, oh, you find out. Oh, even the 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 super I is that. Okay, that's not fun. We plug the charger. Let's check the voltage. Yeah, let's check if we have three point three. Still. So on the power button. Yeah, you can see on the multimeter three point two. Three point one. Let's short. Let's try to start the board. Hopefully are these two pins. Huh? No? No. Okay, no. Let's use the power button. See, that's what I told you. This board is dead. Probably bad things happen with this board. This board is no way. Let's see exactly if the power button is working. We have three point three. Press the power button, nothing happened. Okay. What about here? Three point two. Press the power button, nothing happened. Three point three, press the power button, it's going to zero. Okay. Okay. Now the things get complicated. Very complicated. Super Iron is dead. That's bad. No, no, 
the laptop is working. Check here. You have picture on the screen. It's working on the battery power because that uh, I just took out the charger. Because uh, that MOSFET is only for charging. Okay, I still don't understand why the laptop didn't come on before. So let me connect the battery. Plug the charger. The second pin, the third pin from the right to ground. On, and it's coming on. You can see the lights? No, you can't see. Okay, so it looks like the laptop it is coming on with the uh, with the uh, with the battery. So what I will do, I will try to repair that uh, charging circuit. Okay, it looks like the laptop is working. Uh, all it looks like. We don't know yet. We don't know yet if only that MOSFET is the problem or actually the driver. We just think, yeah, just think. If the driver is opening the MOSFETs, there, there, there will be a short, yeah? BQ737. Probably I can find that chip. Okay. So this MOSFET, let's see where is connected this MOSFET, yeah, one second, multimeter. Microscope. Let's see where this is connected, yeah. Diode. Let's check with the ground. With the ground here is zero, okay, and here is the coil. Okay, so this MOSFET is the one, you know how it's a power supply with two MOSFETs, only one connected to plus, one to ground, this is the one connected to ground. Yeah? So probably this is the plus one, yeah. So this is the one connected to ground. And this is bad. This is This is very bad. Because in the order the voltage to reach this MOSFET has to be this to be opened. So let's check this one. And this one is shorted. So the plus is coming here. Yeah, it's coming here. If this is shorted, it will drive the plus here. Yeah. And obviously if this is open one of these two will blow up and on this case this blow up because was good it was not shorter like this this is like a wire so i'll replace both mosfets yeah i'll try to find a board let me find a board Yeah, I found a board, we found this, this one, and this is same story, we have two MOSFETs coil and it's driving the, it's charging the battery, yeah? In this case, this is connected to ground, this is connected to plus. Okay. So, uh... I'll replace these two MOSFETs. Let me use some flux. One second. And of course, I cannot find the flux anymore. The flux is not here anymore. I found it. So I'll replace the both MOSFETs.
Okay. Yeah. That's one. here okay the second one this is the second one These are MOSFET channel N. I'll try to do a better job there. I have to use my flux to make the things better. These pins are together. Okay. This is gate and a solder. And everything else is soldered properly. Yeah? Let's try and check. I'll check first with the power supply. See if the MOSFETs are open or not. Minus, plus, and the MOSFETs are not open because I have no short. Yeah, so let's try with the battery. I want to see if it's charging. Okay, let's connect the battery. Battery is connected, let's we'll connect the charger. Okay. Let's power on. It's on. Let's check the charging. Plus, minus. The battery is kind of fully charged. So the highest is 14 point... Oh, sorry. 14.7, 14.2. Let's take out the, the charger. And without the charger we have... 13.9 only. So I believe the power supply is pushing... Uh, 
current the battery which is a good thing now the charger is plugged in 14.7 you see that jump 14.7 14.6 so that's the switching power supply pushing the power to the battery So probably because the battery is nearly fully charged, the current is low. So I believe this laptop is fixed. Okay? I can try to take that bridge out. Yeah? We should take the bridge? Yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah that's, that's fair. Let's see. Without that bridge, it's still working. I will break the bridge. Okay, I took the bridge out. Let's try one more time. The battery. Charger. It's on and it's working, yeah? So now, even without that, uh, without that bridge, now the laptop is working. Okay. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, you see it's working. Take out the charger. Take out the battery. I'll show you one more time. I took out the bridge. Yeah, it's no bridge there anymore. Yeah, so if you remember, we bridged this chip. We bridged this chip from the input. Yeah, this one. And the bridge is not there anymore. I ripped it off. Okay, so now the chip, the, the the chip is driving the power because the problem is solved. What we did, we replaced the MOSFETs, and I believe we fixed the problem. Okay, I'll clean now. I'll clean the board. I'll clean the solders, and uh, yeah, that's all. It's no point keeping the video. As long as we found the problem, we fixed the problem, but it was nice, you know, to see so many, so much smoke, and I think it was a spark there. I should check with the, with the motherboard out, you know, the, the effect is more impressive. Okay. Okay, probably I can find more jobs here. I'll stop this video now. I'll go to have a black tea hot black tea okay so thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and see you on the next one yeah bye